What's up everybody and welcome to another tutorial. So today I wanted to show you how to make some really cool indents into an object. So this is kind of what I mean using the boolean modifier. So for those who don't know I've been working on an exit sign for my auditorium and you can kind of see I've got it you know got it kind of you know looking pretty good. Um, and so essentially I just wanted to show you how you can kind of make these little indents into your uh, your objects right for when you need to give it more dynamic right. Um, too much space you don't get that dynamic that you're looking for so let's just say this is the object and you want to create like an indent in there right so let's head on over to my demonstration and I'm going to copy and paste this this object and I'm going to scale down the second one a little bit and then essentially what I'm going to do and this is what it looks like straight on is I'm going to also bring bring this one out a little bit um, because, and this is kind of going to determine how much of the boolean effect it goes into it, right? You can look at it kind of from the side if you want. Let me head on over to the other side so you can kind of see how much you want to affect it. I don't want to affect it too much, so maybe something like that. We'll bring it back around, uh, bring it back around straight. Uh-oh, got a little lost here. Let's bring it back. All right, there we go. So, kind of back on track here. And what I want to do is I want to click on my original object and I want to add that modifier and I want to head on over to the Boolean. And then, you know, you want to do the difference because you're taking out of it, right? So you're going to head on down here to, should be, should be demonstration kind of number two, if you will, because that's what I called it, or tutorial demonstration, yeah. So like that. And at this point, even though you can't probably tell, but it has been cut out. And so at this point, if I were to hide the one that I was, you know, the bully, the cutter, if you will, now you can kind of see, uh, let's see here, you can't tell it really well. Maybe it's because I didn't, you know, uh, cut it deep enough. So let's see if we can bring back this one right here, this bully in here. And let's cut it a little, let's cut it a little bit deeper here. That way it's a little more pronounced. Now let's hide it and see what happens. Oh. Okay, so somehow my uh, the modifier went away so let's click on the original object we'll do a boolean and then we will make the object the the tutorial demonstration the second one right so I get on down to the bottom here and there we go and now if we were to hide this one okay we can see a pretty good effect this might be a little bit more than you know I would want but the cool part is you can always adjust the boolean right so if you wanted to make it a little less deep, you'd always kind of bring it back up and you know maybe bring it out. Oh, excuse me, that's not the right one. That's the one, the cutter. Bring it out just a little bit. Now we'll see what that does. Okay, yeah, that, that looks pretty good. And so now I want to kind of create another one. And so you have this indent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that original and paste it. Right now I'm going to bring this over here to this situation over here. So now we've got this one. So what I want to do now is, excuse me, I am going to scale this one down to where it offsets the boolean just a little bit, right? There we go. And you know, this is just for demonstration purposes. It's not going to be perfect. But let's just say something like that. Just a little bit. There we go. And so now at this point, um, the interesting thing is that, let me see if we can... Uh, there we go. The interesting thing is you can kind of see it's not really even with this back one, right? So how can we get that even? Well, I could I could kind of sit here and try to get it even like that. Or one one another idea might be to take this take this object, and then you also want to click on the this object, right? And then if you can come over here, so we're moving off the X one, right? If you want to come over here, we can copy the single to the selected 
And now you've got it to where it matches up that perfectly with that original one. So let's see how this looks. Yeah, you can kind of see, you see the indention now, right? Looks pretty good. Okay. And then, of course, if you wanted to give it a little bit of a uh, bevel, you can do that. So if we go over here and we want to add another modifier, give it a little bevel action, and you can adjust that. Um, you know, on the original one that I made, I did it 0.4 and made it real smooth. And so now you've got some nice little bevel. Now, of course, you'd want to go ahead and do that to the Boolean as well, the object that we've hidden, because we don't really want to show that. Um, but yeah, that's kind of, kind of give you an idea of what you can do here. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, so if we were going to bevel the, bevel the Boolean, as it were, kind of going over here, and then we can add the modifier, uh, bevel it. I should call it bevel the, the cutter, because that's really what we're talking about here. There we go. Let's see what that does. If we were to hide that now. Okay, let's see how that how let's see how that does. Yeah, she looks she looks pretty good. But yeah, hopefully this helps you and uh, you know gives you an idea of how you can indent stuff to make it look really cool, give it a lot of dynamic and anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.